take this protection coming in, you know, a protection for our, uh, you know, for our cell. But you got to be careful. What, you, what kind of protection did you have? Ain't that right? Yeah. Well, it happened to me, too. I uh, went to Kroger's, and when I came out my car, they had busted the glasses out of it and, and stole, the car, stole the car. So uh, you just don't know what's going to happen to you. You really don't. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, people are so bad now. It's terrible. If, 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 if okay, now, but... Even the police can't do nothing with some of these people. Don't you know that? Well, that's true. I'm glad don't buy the camera soon. That will help a lot, too. But I wish there was some way that we could have something to protect ourselves. You know that? Yeah, that's true. People have phones now that has cameras on them. Yes, yeah, some cameras. You need some way to stop that individual. I'm not, I don't say kill them, but to, to injure them some type of way where they will leave you alone. You have to protect yourself. If you don't yes, protect, you do. You have to protect yourself because if you don't protect yourself, then, uh, I mean, you will sit up and listen. I've known too many cases of people getting killed. You hear me? Yeah. Now, back in 1990, uh, 19, uh, 19, uh, 19, uh, 19, uh, it was this girl, <laughs> excuse me, it was this girl, she was 25 years old, okay, I remember to this day, and she was coming out from church from a Wednesday night service, and these guys rushed her and killed her, do you hear me? Yeah. They rushed that child, and they made her get in that car, and they killed that child. They shot her in the head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's happening just about every day. We had a shooting on Pelleton, near Pelleton uh, last night. So it's just so much going on. Near Pelleton, what, uh, what happened there? It was a shootout, a shooting. I don't know uh, exactly how it ended, but I think it, uh, somebody got shot. It was a, a, a man, I think they said he was a minister or something, was cutting his yard, and a bullet grazed him, grazed him, and then down the street, uh, it was a shooting in the house, two doors down from him, too. That's what I'm talking about in Memphis. What is going on with these people? Why, you know, why, so what, what's going on with all this shooting? Every day. It makes me scared to even. Everybody's getting shot. Look, I have to go to work, and it's, it's scary. Yes, it is. It's scary. It's, it's, you know, it's scary. Can't go to work. Every and day. You, you think somebody gonna, and you don't know where that bullet gonna come from. I mean, no, bullets don't have no name. Don't you know that? No, that's true. Bullets don't have no names, and boy, that thing hit you. It ain't going to kill you if it hits you in the right spot. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's an innocent. And I think a lot of it, too, uh, they're getting these drugs. Now, I've seen on TV or on the news that it's going to become nationwide. they they setting up businesses where people can buy these drugs, and they're getting it in the form of candy. And pints and everything they're going to sell. Candy. And you know some children will probably end up getting that dope candy and stuff. Candy. What you, what you talking about, candy? What, I mean, what you, what, they could be in, in candy? Who said they could be in candy? I never heard of that. It's on the news. What? Yeah, they're making marijuana and putting it in candy. Making candy out of it. To wow. sell. Man. <laughs> and they're going to set up stores so that they get, uh, each state get legalized to sell it. They're going to set up stores in every state. Wait a minute. All I, over, I, it's going to be all over the world. And they're going to sell candy. Wait, wait. And they got them pipes. You can smoke pipes with it. <laughs> and, and all. They got it 
legalized. When they get it legalized, what they, in the world they is going on here? It now. And these kids are going to be so dopey, we're going to be scared to go in the street. They need to stop it. They need to just stop, stop it here in Memphis. Stop it. They need to stop that stuff. No, nah, they don't legalize it. You just watch and see. Because it's in Colorado already. And, but, and, and uh, they they planning their business, trying to plan to make a business out of it. But hold on. Wait, look, look, hold on. But is it selling chocolate marijuana and... Hard, making it into hot candy and everything else. What in dope. the world are these people doing? Chocolate candy. They're going to be so doped up, it's pitiful. And that marijuana, that stuff stinks to me. I don't, you know, I don't. Okay, but see, look, all right. But what about the people that need it that the doctor prescribed for? Do you think that's right? I mean, the doctor. Yeah, well, they go, they go, they can get it and they go fix it where you can have it for pleasure, too. What else gonna what else gonna come out? I don't understand. I I I thought that these people would do better in this in, in especially in Memphis. No, I live in Memphis. And uh, everybody gonna be doped up and and more than that it's gonna be terrible. It's gonna get worse instead of better. Well, I ain't none of I know the law by the citizen, they ain't smoking that stuff. I know they ain't doing that. You know, I, I ain't going to, I don't know. Yeah, they right. all doing it. The rich folks doing it and all. <laughs> well, they ain't doing it, and I don't even like the stuff. Well, me either. I'm not doing it, but they, there's a lot of folks on that stuff. A lot of people. But what do you think about, okay. But, 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 but hold up. Like they made it illegal, can we vote against this stuff? Did they take it out? Can you, uh, what's it called? It, uh, 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 appeal that stuff? Can't you appeal it? Can't you say something like said, we don't want that in our but state? Some people uh, vote against it, but they still going to legalize it. They're going to keep at it until they get it legalized. They're going to keep on that because they... It was on the it was on the news. Okay, we have a caller calling in. Hi, right, caller, come on in. Denise? Hello, Denise. Out of Memphis, Tennessee. All right. <laughs> I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right, how you doing? We were talking about what is going on in Memphis and uh, uh, what's going on with some of the things of people that are doing wrong in Memphis, of course, and also in uh, uh, in um. Uh, in the uh, other world, in other parts of the nation. And uh, do we have another caller coming in? Uh, you say you're from Memphis? Yes, I'm from Memphis. Okay, could you speak up a little louder, please? And what's your name? First name? Yes, yes. Uh, my name is Eddie. All right, hi, right, Mr. Eddie, Mr. Eddie, and uh, Ann, and uh, also Denise. It's it's in Mr. Eddie. Uh, we were talking about uh, what are some of the things that are going on? What why some people in Memphis act act crazy in, in North Memphis. And then we're going to let Miss uh, Denise from Milwaukee speak. Go ahead, Miss Eddie. Well, in Memphis, you six or six, not on Memphis. So uh, I'm, I'm basically from Midtown. And, uh, Could you speak a little louder? Could you speak a little louder? Yeah. No, uh, I said I'm basically from Midtown, and so I'm not from North Memphis, so I'm not familiar with North Memphis that much. Yes. And I know his crimes all over. Yes. But what I see what's going on is these young people, they need something to do in this city, you know. Maybe if we get some kind of program, you know, like youth, you know, cooperation with jobs or something of that magnitude, and, you know, yes. give them something to do. You know, back in when I was young, we, we had the field to go to in the country, you know. Uh -huh. Now there's no field to go to, so we got to put these kids something to do. You know, you drop them all in grandparents out back in the older days, they had to go to work. That's right. No, they don't want them to work. No, they don't want to work. They don't want them to work. They show don't this. Well, I think you need more programs than like you have. We had the Google Wheel Station called WDIA AM 1070 here in Memphis. Yes. In fact, we had you, you know, they had the youth baseball teams and some sort of youth team town singers. And it was a whole lot going up and down. Yeah, I don't see that much going on. It, it, all the politicians out for themselves, they took it all the money in their pocket. Instead of putting it out in the neighborhood, it's only for these kids, you know, not necessarily black kids, for all kids. And then, Mr. Eddie. Yeah, so, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, go ahead. So, that's, that's kind of what I had in my mind. I'm, I'm through with it right now. 
All right, you go ahead. All right, Mr. Nice, how you doing from Milwaukee? How you doing? I'm doing okay, and I agree with him, too. The, they don't, they really don't have too many centers open, and sometimes churches used to be open for kids, and then uh, after school had after school activities for kids, and seemed like the government cut so much out, even the Boys and Girls Club and, and uh, Urban League, uh, but they had programs for all kids, all races, but now it seems like the government has just taken that away and left the kids out there stranded, too. Yeah. But, yeah. um... It's a lot of crimes going on against uh, senior citizens also where they're getting cheated out of their SSI check. And uh, some of them are being, um, you know, abused just because they're disabled. So um, there's, there's a lot of crimes against people going on that the police do not uh, file a report or anything for that. I recall the whole place And um, where I live at, uh, this uh, this uh, real estate company called Metropolitan Associates, they hacked their computers uh, when the tenants pay their rent. They hacked their computers saying that they didn't. And then they have people going into the apartments taking their receipts out. And, you know, it's just really awful. And the government should do something about these real estates taking advantage of elderly people, disabled people, and stuff like that. That's right. You know, and that's right. I hear what you're saying, but, you know, in a case of that matter, somebody doing that, I think you need to talk to the local politician. You know, the police can't cover every base, but they should, but they don't. But uh, I was no. my city councilman, you know, is that going on to see what they can do about people going into your, you know, and check with your receipts and things of that magnitude. Like, that is wrong. Yeah, because, see, what I'm saying is that uh, we, well, I had an incident with the maintenance man, but we were moving the boxes out because I got eviction notice. Right. Every time I pay my rent, I get eviction notice, and they say I don't pay the rent. So this time when they said that, I said, I'm going to just try to move out of here because I have my receipts and everything else. But like I'm saying, I called the police on this maintenance man because he was messing with the car. And uh, the police didn't write a report when they came here. They talked to him and they told him, that my caregiver could come over here if he want to and help me because I'm a disabled person. Right. And see, they did not write a report about it. You know, there's a lot of corruption going on here where um, I had like maybe, uh, I don't know, it might have been 15 drug dealers. Some live in the complex and um, like it was um, three that lived downstairs and then Two, they came over to visit the mom, and then uh, it was another neighbor in other complex that was selling drugs, and then his cousin was living in another complex, and he was selling drugs. And this this went on for like three years, and, and they, I mean, they were all bunched up in the hallway, cutting my electric off and on wow. in the basement, the laundry room. Yeah, like, like I said, so, you still have a problem there. In other words, what, what you're saying, you got a mixture of young people, I guess old people selling drugs, then it might be. Yes, old and young. Yeah, yeah it is. Wow. These young people, that's, I'm saying that these, what the, I say their ages range from 18 on up. Okay. Uh -huh. so these are not very young people, but the people do come around in different ages. They come around in cars. There were so many cars that came and went, you know, that, uh, it was just ridiculous, and they took the stick off my car, they took the brake pants off the car, they flattened the tires, wow. they broke the headlight, and uh, Man. I called the police so many times, and I think the police worked with the real estate people in the office, because the minute they got rid of the drug uh, dealers, then the real estate ladies, they start harassing me, giving me... Uh, 
notes and stuff like that. And then they old maintenance men came in here and drilled holes under my kitchen cabinets. And I, I said, why would, I asked them, why would I do something like that? They even sent a maintenance man in here to break the patio window. I had went out to pay my bills, come back, and the window was cracked. It was a big glass patio window. Wow. That's... And I called them, and they said, um, you broke the window. I said, no, the window was not like that. I said, somebody had to come in here and do it. Because nobody is ever in this room. I don't need to sleep in the room. Well, do you, do you, do you, like, you, like, the, do you like the unit that you're living in? Not really, no, and I'm trying to find a place now. I'm going to see the thing. I, I would do this old they, thing. Just kind of ease your hand out the loud mouth and don't let them know what you're about to do. That's right, that's you right. It's too late it, for that. It's, not a it's too late. Wow. It, it's, it's way too late for that because, like I said, they gave me eviction notice, and I went to court. The lady tried to discourage me that represented the real estate so that I would not, she thought, she took me out in the hallway and told me she wanted me out by Sunday. And I said, well, you know what? I don't have nothing to say to you. I took my walk and went right back in that courtroom. Hmm. Then I went to see the commissioner. And the commissioner asked her to give me more days. That's right, that's right. And she said, no, no, I'm not. And she said, no, she said, well, what would you rather do? Would you rather see the judge or you, would you move out? I said, no, I'm going to see the judge. Because mm. that's what she did want me to do. That's right, that's right. So I had my yeah. papers, and there was already an elderly man before me. I'm 60 years old. He got his papers and went to see the commissioner, but he didn't go see the judge. And that was the elderly man. Now, he probably had to pay rent twice because of them. So what I'm saying is that the only people that get these SSI checks and live in these, these buildings like this, that's all about these real estates that are crooked, that hack it, their computer saying that you're not paying, and they have the uh, rent receipts, they don't fight like I fight. Because oh, I went to the judge, and the lady that caused all this harassment, she's a black woman. Mm -hmm. She has been in my apartment, going to my case workers, wow. have a lie on me, but I pay my rent on time all the time. Wow. And, I, and it was a point where she had me cut off hotel so many times I went down there. So the, the, the Section 8, she had that taken from me. I said, she had a way to get SSI taken away from me. That's exactly what she knew because she wanted to make sure I had nothing. And I've done nothing to her, or nothing. And this is a black lady. Now, yeah. maybe she's on drugs and she's mad because I broke the mirror about these people that was hanging in the hall doing drugs and having sex in the basement and sleeping in the hall. Wow. I broke the mirror and he sent somebody over, you know, and because uh, my granddaughter, she almost died from that uh, stuff in, that, in the hallway. So and I got a machine that I use. Because I don't smoke in the doctor, so I thought I did. And my daughter said, no, she has drug addicts, drug dealers in the hall, and that's what's going on. Okay, They've so been there for three years. Okay, yeah, excuse me, okay, so. so she said, well, you've got to get in touch with somebody to get rid of them. Yeah, okay, well, 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 well. So, Miss, so Mr. Eddie, what do you, what's your advice to her, uh, Ann? Uh, first, I'm let uh, Mr. Eddie say something. Let her talk, let her talk. Right? Yeah, Ann, go ahead. Oh, well, in that case, if I was her, I would move out of that building. Because yes, I am. Sounds like right. that lady is trying to get back at you. Somebody probably yes. told uh, them that, that you uh, told them that it was some drugs going on. And people, uh, you know, do things like that. So if I was you, I'd move out of there. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving out of here. But the thing is... um. I was going to move anyway because this started 2010. Wow. See, and it was before the drug dealers were in here good. Man, it's a long but time. But anyway, like I'm saying that she was jealous because my daughter told her, my mother's not supposed to be paying, paying for paintings, paying for rugs, 
paying for repairs and maintenance people do. Because I used to live there, and they used to paint departments, keep departments up, put down the roof. And the stuff that y'all are doing now is wrong to my mother. Yeah. That's what my yeah. daughter told her. Is your daughter nice and able to take you in for a few days so you can get out of there? No. No, she's not uh, able to do that because she just moved herself. Okay. But I'm just saying that I'm going to move out of here if I don't. I'll make a way somehow, you know, but I was just saying, when I went to court, my baby was there. When I went to court, I had my papers. I had uh, some papers that they gave me. They wanted me to pay $1,400, and then I'm still evicted. The judge looked at that, and he said, how are you going to put this woman out? You didn't even sign half of these papers. And he uh -huh. said, I'm not going to put her out. I'm going to give her more days so she can find a place. And me and you're serving her with a breach and has to go find a place. Good. Yeah. Go ahead, Ms. Eddie. Well, that's, that's good. Well, the way she's speaking now, you know, what she just spoke on, that's good. He took her to hurt her case and began to give her more time to get out of there. And he recognized that there was some wrong doing that. At least he recognized that he was wrong doing. Yeah, she, she didn't like right to go to the judge. Uh-huh. And, and because I had proof, and then they kept saying I didn't pay rent. But see, what they messed up is saying, you pay your rent uh, on a on the regular basis. It was a, uh, and I noticed that on that paper they gave me that they were asking me for 510. They also asked me for 418 and $432. So that was like $1,400 they was asking for, but I was still evicted, and it does say it. That, that's that's not right at all. You didn't ask for this money, you still put that out. Okay, that's true. Is, is that building funded? You can use that money to buy, find you another place or buy you something else. You know, rent. Yeah, rent somewhere else. Yeah. Right, so that is, what I'm saying is that they doing this stuff. The elderly people, and they doing it to disabled people, they're yeah, making them pay for the rent, and the government should know. That when these people get the SSR check, but they stay at, these people are making them pay double rent. Yeah. That's what the government should know about because it's, it's wrong for them to do that. So the they pay your rent and they hack the computers and say, oh, no, well, you didn't pay your rent. So they hack in the computers telling the people they're not paying because many times they told me and I showed them my receipt. And see, that's what made them mad. Well, well, I sure, I sure would uh, 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 find some way to, to get that out in the public. You uh, need to tell one of the TV stations about it or something. Because uh, uh, here in Memphis, Channel 5, you can report stuff like that to Channel 5 or Channel 3, and they will uh, put that out in the public, and, and uh, the right person will hear it and, and do something about it. Right. Because they're not supposed to treat the elderly people like that. Yes, and see, and see, no, yeah, yeah, and see, and see, and, and see, and see, the, see it, it, we just live in a crooked society. Everybody money hungry, and nobody. Yeah, that's true. And 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 and, 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 and they're so corrupt. Yeah, they're corrupt. They're they, they they correct, breaking the law yeah. every which way. That's right. And that's the truth. Not only in Milwaukee. The drugs, believe it or not. The drugs has a lot to do with it. That's right. Not only in Milwaukee, here in Memphis. Yeah. When they put, uh, try to legalize these drugs and, and, and putting them here, that's when trouble really started. It really did. Yeah. It is, because I, I just think the world is coming to the end. Come to yeah, the end. I think it's we're living in the last days. We are. Yeah, yeah. Businesses yep. are so corrupt to the point where even the government don't try to help nobody because, like, I, I wrote Section 8, and I told them when the building inspector came in here, he didn't see the, ce the holes in the ceiling where the squirrels are living in the attic in the raccoon. I said he didn't, he wow. didn't even check the boxes to see if they changed them. That was their job description if the place didn't change the faucets for years and the, the bathroom uh, tub is leaking 
the faucet is leaking, and then there's no cork around the tub. He didn't check none of that. And I said, well, they just put it. Go to a TV station or somebody. And yeah, was, yeah, I would. I would, I would report that uh, to one of the stations, and they would put it on the air and report it and make it public, yeah. and then they would make them do something about that. That's, that's right, right. That's right. Yeah, but you know, you know, yeah. even here in Memphis. Yeah, she can do that, and like I said, don't be scared, do it. Uh -huh. No, I'm not. I'm not scared of nothing. It's just that you got um, to, you know, get it, get it uh, out there where they, where the uh, public can know about it, and uh, whoever's in charge of that building that would make them right. ashamed, you know, then make them do something. Uh, the government or somebody would, would hear. I had wrote that. I had wrote Washington about this agriculture. I sent them pictures uh, about where the squirrels was biting into the wall out in the back patio, and I sent them the different things, and uh, they didn't even respond to me. I wrote them two times. Yeah, you got to expose those people yeah, because I mean, these, you these stations would 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 uh take that. I would put it on on the news. That's right in Milwaukee. That's right because they're not gonna see once they get, once they get exposed, they would do something about it. But you just writing them, it's not gonna do any good because the, we we're living in a crooked, perverse, money hungry. Society, yeah. and they would run over you, yeah. me, Miss Eddie, and anybody to get some money. That's right, because that's, right, that's what they're doing now. Uh, my daughter, she worked at the bank, and she said this elderly man always come in and say he didn't pay his rent, but they said he didn't. So now he's paying it again. That is so wrong. That is so wrong. Yeah. Well, people doing everything now. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you say, Ms. Eddie? What'd you say, Eddie? The people who's on drugs, they're running things around there, and they support that, but they want to sound like. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like a drug thing. I believe that girl is on drugs. I believe that. I really believe that they're on drugs. She have to be for for that, just to, you know, people paying double money in the area. They don't get... Little social security, and you're going to tell them they're waiting for themselves to live for the rest of the month. Right. Yeah, somebody like, like I said, somebody on drugs. Well, I sure would report it. I put it on the news. Well, see, I will send pictures to the newspaper. Yeah, I would. 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 Okay, uh -huh. Memphis, we we report things to channel channel five or channel three. Yeah, we report to were, yeah, Andy Wise. Yes, we we report to Andy Wise. They on channel three. I think he, uh, no, channel Andy Wise on oh, channel three. Oh, yeah, Andy Wise on channel five. Yeah, channel five. Yes. Uh oh. And then what you need to do, uh, Denise, because you man, that's a mess up there. Yeah. It is. And, uh, it is a mess. Get out of that. Yeah. Yeah, I've moved as soon as I could. Yes, I am trying to. I'm trying to. Yeah. I hope you well, find well, somewhere else. Well, pray for you and hope that you can do better, you know, in the future. Yes, uh-huh. Uh, I didn't miss you around there. It's, that's not right. Yeah, I hope you find somewhere else. 